today I am putting together a spare set of rotors and hats um, because I'm getting near the end of my my Willwood rotors. They've been on there for about a year. Um, probably got a little more in them, um, so I'm not going to change them yet, but I want to get a spare set ready to go. So what I did is um, picked up a, spare, a second set of the Spec 37 rotors and the, uh, the 160 8398 is the passenger side and the 8399 is the driver's side. I've uh, just been wanting to have these on hand. Um, anyway, so I picked up a spare set of hats so that I don't have to uh, get these things remounted up at the track if for some reason I crack a rotor or whatever. Uh, although hopefully I'll catch them in my inspection before I get that far. But the, uh, the rotors, or excuse me, the hats are 170-8919 and they're, both, they're the same on both sides. And the other thing that you'll need is uh, basically a set of these um, screws or, or bolts to mount them in, uh, two packages. And it is a uh, uh, 2308008. Uh, so that's uh, all, those are all the parts that you need. Uh, outside of that, what you need is just a, a torque wrench that'll measure in inch pounds, um, uh, some red Loctite or red Permatex in this particular case, and then. Um, and, and then some safety wire. So this is just cheap safety wire and safety wire pliers that I picked up at Harbor Freight. Okay, I've got the passenger side rotor sitting out. Uh, and the way this is going to work is this flat side is going to um, face out, right, towards the outside of the car. And the hat will sit right on top of that flat side, right, so that you can see the Willwood facing to the outside of the vehicle. So in order to put this together, I will take this, put the hat down, all right, and then we'll take the rotor and we'll flip it on there. And then go ahead and just bust out those screws and with a little dab of Loctite, um, go ahead and start putting them in. All right, so each screw then uh, has a washer. So we make sure that it gets a washer. We'll give it a little bit, not a lot, just a little dab of Loctite, enough to hold it on there. We'll go finger tight. Okay, so now, pretty simple. I'm just gonna check my torque wrench and get, make sure that it's set to 155 inch pounds which it is and then go ahead and start to torque these down in a star pattern all right then i come across to the opposite side Okay, everything's torqued down. I'm just gonna make one more pass around in order, uh, just because I'm anal like that. I'm gonna make sure that I didn't miss one. The last thing to do here is just uh, cut off a piece of safety wire and uh, start to thread it through. And you'll, you'll find that these, this bolt kit is already, um, it's already pre-drilled, which is nice. Pass it through like that, and then uh, I'll go ahead and pinch the wire. Oops. Right over here, close to the nut or bolt, excuse me, and then uh, just twist. So now I'm threaded all the way to this guy. I'll just pass it through again.
right here is just to snip that off. Right down there. And then I push that back and around out of the way. So that's it. We'll do that essentially all the way around until we get uh, all, what is it, 12 of these guys finished up. That's it. Not much to safety wire. Um, basically, we're just doing two at a time all the way around, right? Um, passing it through the first one, grabbing it right about here and twisting, right? And then twisting and cutting on the other side. It's pretty basic. Um, Anyway, definitely something you want to do. I've seen these bolts back out of here before. Um, I've seen rotors come off of hats. And these guys, these rotor hats are aluminum, so you can't really torque them down. Remember, it's 155 inch pounds, uh, which is uh, just short of 13 foot pounds, I think. But you want to be using an inch pound torque wrench so that you don't overdo it. If you overdo it and strip one of these out, that's it for the hat. So uh, definitely Loctite. Definitely safety wire, uh, and that'll keep your Corvette stopping quickly on the track.